Hey Timothy, so it is lightly raining, so it's gonna be a little scattered here. This is the front of the house, beautiful big tree right there, but it is set away from the house, which is great. There's another big, beautiful tree here in the corner. And the main reason why it's people have been balking is because that is Aspen. And she said a lot of people just didn't wanna back up to it, and which is true. If the house honestly was right there or there, I think that would have been sold as soon as it was listed. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna walk around so you can see a little bit. That is Aspen. And this is the two car garage entry and a side door and then the back gate. And then the, obviously HVAC unit too. So literally you just come in through here. However, there is this little bump out. So at least it wouldn't be too crazy traffic of everything. Okay, I'm gonna walk the sidewalk over here. We'll go back to the front of the house. This is 1321 Aspen Court. Should have mentioned that, sorry. But yeah, 1321. And we're gonna walk up. So it has another thing that she said is it does need some updating. They just aren't ready to do it. But they've done some things like fresh paint and new posts and things like that. So here's the front porch. We'll sweep around. Okay, they have their, um, not screen door, but glass door, and then your storm door right here. The elevations are a little different from the floor transitions. So I'm gonna back up so you can see that front door entry, ceramic tile, and then it transitions half a step down to the different flooring. Same thing over here, that's a coat closet. So, there's that space. And then it has a big circle. It goes all the way around, but there's just a half step down and then a half step back up, which you'll see in just a minute. And then this room is a half step down as well. You could raise it if you wanted to. Uh, definitely possibility. Overhead ceiling fan, a little mini trade. And then this is that workout room that we saw and just how they have this set up. She said those were the two biggest negatives that people just hated the different floors, did not like the transitions, and hated how it was backing up to Aspen. But for some people, that doesn't bother them. I'm going to put my sunglasses down real quick. For some people, that doesn't bother them at all, and so then per the comps and square footage, this would be a steal. So here's the half bath underneath the stairs. Great space right there. And then we're just gonna go in the circle area. So if we were to keep going straight, that's the backyard. You can see some of the windows are a little outdated, but then here's the kitchen. Has some updating, some not. And then that's another part of the home right here. So another circle down this hall. And I'll make sure and lead you back around, but this is one of the circles. So fridge, dishwasher, double sink, overlooking, overlooking the backyard, newer light fixture, built-in oven is not newer, uh, and the electric, electric stovetop isn't either, but everything works, so that's good. Just gonna walk around slowly here. So this is the eat-in area. They've got a couple young kiddos, so you can see their high chairs right there. Uh, the back door and then the stairs leading up. The master is down, but all the guest bedrooms are up. Okay, so then if instead of going straight, we went left as soon as we walked in, this is what you would see. So they've painted those at once dark wood beams up there. So that's why that looks a little dark. You know, the windows are a little old. There's some pieces of wood and and a baseboard, you know, where there's some gaps. This is why I'm 90% sure this is why it won't go FHA. Since we're conventional, that's fine. But just pointing out some things that I see. Gas fireplace, because of the way they have their sectional set up. I kind of got to walk around here a little bit. So then this is the family room from this perspective. It's a great big space. It's a great big room. Okay, and then if we were to 
go outside really quick, hopefully before it downpours even more. It's been spotty and rainy. Okay, so back patio, back porch, couple steps down. Full privacy fenced all the way around, which is great. A lot of good trees, landscaping, places where you can see they have their kiddos toys and things. That's that gate that we saw just off the driveway. And this is 9, 9.30 o'clock traffic and this will not slow until later in the evening. It's like this pretty much all day. So that is the biggest turnoff uh, that they have heard uh, thus far. People really don't like. Which explains the price decrease. And they know, they just don't wanna let it sit on the market. So there's a new gate over there. All right, we're gonna come inside. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna circle back around here. My shoes are wet, so they're gonna squeak now. Okay, so there's a workout room. If we're coming over here, there's a closet right there. Here's the utility room. Little storage closet. So there's the utilities. And here is your garage access. So there's that attic drop down. You can tell over there. All right. And we're gonna go over here. This is the master suite. So, full bedroom, newer laminate flooring, but again, different transitions all throughout. So it's all a little different. Um, either they never put the transition strip in or their dogs did it. I'm not sure, but you can tell that it was once carpet. And then this is the master bath, single sink vanity, and then across is the uh, pop-up tub, not quite a full tub, shower, toilet, and then walk-in closet. So if you don't mind having some home projects and just fixing up a few things, this would be a great, great space, great place. And for the square footage, I mean, wow, it'd be amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna go upstairs. Couple things to note. Again, I think it's just because they tried to paint it. Uh, also, there's a lot of light bulbs that are burnt out. So I've turned on all the ones that I can find. That light fixture is, if you're any kind of tall, you're gonna probably hit your head because I'm 5'7", and I mean, yeah, I'm just a couple inches away. So you'd probably want to replace the light fixture, but you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to. Uh, okay, so looking down, carpet up. Again, there's like 20 different types of flooring. It doesn't have to be replaced, it's fine. But here is one of the bedrooms that they have into a nursery. Nice walk-in closet right here. I'm just gonna go to the other corner so you can see. Cute little window bump out. Super sweet room. There's a closet, they have a little baby holder, but there's another linen closet right there. Here's an office flex space. Cute little extra area. Ceiling fan, light fixture overhead. Um, just so you can see how wide this is. They've got a little safe and cabinet filing storage thing there. Okay, full bath right off of here in the hall, double sink vanity, and the old saloon kind of door. But it has a full shower tub combo. There's a toilet, built-in cabinet, and again, an older window, but still good condition overlooking the back, uh, the backyard, excuse me. There's the back of the door. All right, and then if we continue down the hall and we take a left, here's two, of three guest bedrooms. I'm trying to go fast but slow too. Another nice walk-in closet. Little attic access for repair work or access needs. Okay, so I'm gonna stand over here. 
All right. Oh, let me go behind the door too. Okay, and then the third of three guest bedrooms upstairs is right back here. So she's made this into an office, but it could be, it could be a great office. It could be a great hangout space, another bedroom, guest bedroom. I don't know why there's spray paint marks, but there is, and there's carpet. So another floor, but huge walk-in closet, huge space. And again, most of this is just cosmetic deterrents that people don't want to deal with. Um, is it a laundry chute? It is a laundry chute. There's that. Oh. And right in here is some attic storage space huge they've got all tons of stuff so i mean how many christmas trees you want to fit in there a lot of great space okay and then i don't think we went through yep another linen closet i think i skipped over that one and then there's one more door over here she mentioned that there's like almost 500 square foot of attic storage space so this is the second one obviously not for living actual space, but you've got tons for storage and whatever you need. I mean, there's a computer out there that I think I just saw from my elementary school days in my childhood. So you never know. Um, okay. I will fix that in just a second. There we go. I got it. Okay. I was hoping not to cut you off on the video. So there's that everything upstairs. That's kind of how it looks like with the lights off. So just to review, down the halls, bedroom three of three upstairs, bedroom two, full bath, bedroom one, bunch of storage and closet space, little flex area, which would be a really cute play area, something like that. And if you wanted the downstairs family to be more of your space, more adult and entertaining and that nature, you've definitely got it. So that faces west, north, East, in case it matters. And then circling back around the kitchen. Hallway to the master, utilities, garage. And then their workout room up here, which again, you can make this informal dining, another office, another hangout room, your own workout room, whatever you want it to be. There's a lot of space here for the square footage. Fantastic. Uh, there's definitely going to be some projects, but you do not have to do them that I can tell to make it move and ready and gorgeous front yard too. Beautiful neighborhood. Uh, it's not one of the oldest ones here, but it is well established. I mean, you can tell just from the trees. You can see a lot of those trees are really great and beautiful area, which if you're not familiar with it, just let me know but this is about 85th and Aspen. So great area, great location, neighborhood, schools, all that good stuff. All right, that's it.